You are listening to Happy Hour Hustle, a bi-weekly podcast featuring the musings and witty remarks of the one and only Kim Bodie. We can promise at least two terrible jokes out of Kim and at least 10 minutes of incredible thought leadership from some amazing and influential guests. So grab a glass of iced red wine and join us for a wild ride. Here's Kim. hey It's another episode of the Happy Hour Hustle. <laughs> we have Drew Beach with us from Corporate Color Graphics. We've given him a beer that expired six months ago, and we are ready to crush this podcast. Say hello, Drew. Hopefully I'll live to the end of this podcast. <laughs> we'll just keep, I mean, it is Miller Lite. It's basically water anyway, so. <laughs> water lasts. Water. I mean, it's fine. Um, so we're talking today uh, visual marketing. Um, can you give people just an overview of um, the company, Corporate Color Graphics, like who you are, specifically what it is that you do? Because I know you're a VP of something. <laughs> of everything. <laughs> uh, co- uh, corporate Color Graphics, also known as Corp Color, the short version that we say. Because uh, it's really hard to get corporate out, <laughs> so just shorten it up to corp. <laughs> corp. <laughs> Hopefully you know what that stands for. Uh, it's a custom signage, uh, wall decor, and visual uh, graphic design company. We work with a lot of retail chains uh, nationwide at this point. And we work with a lot of supermarket chains, uh, banks, credit unions, museums, and exhibit companies, and corporate environments. Essentially, anything that can go on the wall, be it vinyl, be it cut lettering. Well, and floors, too. You put stuff on floors. Yeah, graphic, anything. Anything. Any kind of signage or wall decor. When I say wall decor, I mean uh, it could be a custom photo print of some sort. We work with it in the hospitality industry, and we can build a custom acoustic panels. Or meeting rooms. Ooh, we need that for our podcast. Yeah. That's good to know. Yes, you Somebody do. write that down. Big echo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, this is totally a legit setup right here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I'm in someone's living room. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're just hanging out. Um, so you, we, we have actually utilized you for um, our, our signage, and then you did our front um, door, that vinyl, which is super cool. Of course. Yeah. So, but, so your, your job title is VP of everything. Essentially, it's yeah, vice president and entrepreneur in training is what I always say, and uh, wearer of many hats. What is your drink of choice? Is it Miller Lite? <laughs> <laughs> Currently, it is expired Miller Lite right now. This is my favorite. Um, the next question is how 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 did we meet? How did you know me? Oh, uh, taking it back a decade, <laughs> over a decade, uh, over a decade. Um, essentially, I tried to sell you, uh, or I. Ex- actually took it away from another salesperson and uh, started working with you when you were at WMSTI. Mm-hmm. Woosty. I think it was. Yeah, Woosty. Yeah. yeah. And uh, really, and you, you and I had away. lunch one day <laughs> and it was like, screw business, let's just be friends. And, let's and then we would out. eat cheesecake together. That's yeah, an, a story for another time. Ate way too much. Yeah, yeah, we got sick off that, but whatever. Um, Okay, so before we get into you know visual marketing and rocking that, we want to do an icebreaker. So, if you could, if go. you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, only one, what would it be? Tacos. Really? It'd be tacos. Like specifically from anywhere? Like, is it like grade C Taco Bell meat, or are you doing? <laughs> not, nah, not, not Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, oh, let's be clear about that. Um. Like homemade tacos are hard shell, favorite. soft shell. Give me some details here. <laughs> to be specific, both. It's a soft shell wrapped around a hard shell. So you have the best of both worlds. Oh, <laughs> nice. Crunchy and smooth. All right, all right. Like I can get after that. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to talk about marooning. Um, oh. I think I said that word right. If not, we can always edit it out. Um, if you could banish someone to a remote island for a year, who would you send? Oh. <laughs> Didn't expect that question. I know. I told you this was going to be like Dateline. Um, if I could banish anyone. Gosh, right now, probably Trump. Oh, that's a good one. Can we bomb the island too? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Just sink it. We'll make it a really small island, and then we'll be all set. I hate to make it political, yeah. but that <laughs> right. would just be easier. That's okay. We're, we don't really shy away from anything here. Okay. <laughs> What item do you equip them with? I'm going to guess nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely nothing. Zero. 
my not pic- <laughs> my picture so they know. A Twitter? <laughs> Use your Twitter. Oh. Okay, so now we're going to talk visual marketing. I think a lot of people don't really understand what that means. Um, and and I can honestly say before you started working at Court Parlor, I didn't really think about that that much. But we talk so much about branding. Um, and obviously, like, you know, we we work with so many companies when they're branding, rebranding, or whatever it is. And it's such a big thing how you present your brand. And I don't think sometimes, like, people necessarily put enough thought into that. Because when someone walks into your facility or into your office, like, that's their first impression. And right. what is it that you want them to see? Right. I, first of all, with my background of film and video and website and just general marketing, it was a natural move to get into this. And I, too, didn't think of a whole lot. Yeah, you put logos up, you put signs mm-hmm. up, big deal. Well, above and beyond the whole wayfinding to try and figure out where you're going for events and that Mm -hmm. type of thing, there is a lot more to it. Visual marketing, an image versus text, your brain perceives that image and can process it 60,000 times faster than text. That's why if I told you... uh, That's why you only read books with pictures. Right. Picture books, comic (laughs) books, it's a lot easier. That's it. (laughs) That's why if I tell you, memorize a page out of a book... You'd struggle with yeah. it. You tell me about it. Yeah. Versus here, let me show you a picture. Now tell me about the picture that you just saw. You're, it's way easier. Well, to it's how remember. we even get people to find our office. Look for the white door. Look right. for the door that's got the vinyl in it. Like, fill them a little. Well, it's a branding yourself. opportunity. It's yeah. your brand that's right. out there. So to visually see that and tie that together um, is a huge impact. It's like billboards, anything else that you see. That's all visual marketing that has an instantaneous impact. So what is like, you know, if somebody's looking to, well, you're, I mean, you're even working with us too on, um, cause we want to make sure that we're illustrating our core values because culture is so important to us here. We want to make sure that it's kind of out there and in the face. And then also our, our purpose, we want to make sure that's really visible too. And it's not just for individuals that come in or, or potential clients or existing clients. It's really for the staff too. Like it's a good reminder of why we do what we do. And I think having that very having it visually portrayed is is for me a lot more impactful than like here's your standard operating procedure 200 page booklet please read through that yeah definitely you've all seen the memes that are on yeah. uh, even social media but you've seen it in you know of the homes where the heart is that yeah. type of thing even for the business it's really creeping into there because you want people to understand and embrace your values we do the same thing at our offices we have it in two different areas where the break room and a couple other areas of where here's our mission statement, yep. here's who we are, not in a stodgy corporate uh, old men in white suits type right. or old men in, in suits. In suits. Yeah. White, white the, men in suits? The old, old beer's suits? getting are to me now. Are they all in old suits? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's six months so, old. Um, but, it, but it definitely sets the tone in the, yeah. of the environment of what you're going to be in. It reinforces a lot of that so you can look at it and say, yeah, that's that's our goal here. What are top things people should consider when, you know, because, um, I mean, when we moved in this, into this space, it was a blank canvas. Yeah. And I remember you came in and I was like, I know that I want to put something on so we have a little bit more privacy at the, at the front because, I mean, you could see right into the office, but we obviously wanted to let in the natural light. So you have a really cool material for that. And then... We also knew that we wanted to have our, our logo portrayed right when people walked in, too. What are things that you tell your clients to consider when they're trying to determine, you know, kind of like where to put, where, I guess, visually how to portray things? And then also, I think it's important to note that you come in there and you help them with that whole strategy. Yeah, we want to assess every wall that you have in yeah. there to make it relative to the space. This tells the story of your brand. We want to create that experience make it positive and make it memorable for anybody that comes in. I would say first and foremost, if you have any, anybody coming in, if it's your home office, don't yeah. don't worry about putting your logo up there, uh, unless it's a pride type of thing that you're excited about. But if you have anybody coming in, any kind of clients or customers, you need to have your logo somewhere where it's visible when they come in. Well, we've take, we take photo, all our photos in front of it. I mean, it's just become like, you know, that's where it's very easy. That's to great like, brand yeah, recognition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, what is the f- most fun job that you've done? Ever? Mm-hmm. Well, no, at, or s- since, you know, what you do <laughs> now. Say, what? <laughs> Ever? <laughs> that was obviously working with me, all those videos we made uh, for Wednesday. state. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe for you. Uh, <laughs> the most fun job I think we have ever done is uh, 
we actually just completed one. There's a couple of them that, that come to mind. One of them that we just did that's going to be incredibly hard to explain. Yeah. But Which is, this is the perfect, perfect, <laughs> Yeah, you know, so you can see nothing of what it. I'm yeah. talking mm-hmm. about. So. He's going to be doing a lot of hand signals. I'll show signals. you with my hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it utilizes a lot of metal cabling okay. and metal fixtures that kind of crisscross in a very artistic form. Yeah with magnetic plates <laughs> that are printed so the client can put up um, client photos. It's kind of oh. a client photo wall. And can that change out too then? Those yeah, photos they can, can change, change the photos out of it. Uh, it's for Grow Trust, right, downtown Grand Rapids, yeah. a financial company. Oh, that's they wanted really to cool. showcase their clients in a very unique way. Which is also very awesome. I mean, because that's another way too. You know, you don't just want to invite people in and you want to be able to showcase the work that you're doing too. And that's the other thing. Like, I mean, you guys can do these large format prints and that kind of stuff too. So if there's something big that you want to demonstrate, I mean, when we did, um, I mean, when we did the, our art prize uh, project like in 2011 and all those lanterns went up, the photos that were taken from that were just like amazing. And yeah. You know, to be able to print that and to display that right when people walk in, I mean, that's just another way to say, you know, to to communicate without words, like, this is the type of work we do. This is how impactful it is. Um, what's your favorite part of your job? 